y'all and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to make the best homemade meatloaf this is going to be really easy and you're going to love this recipe okay let's jump right into it take a look at all of the ingredients that we have right here this is what you're going to need to make your meatloaf let's start with the ground beef so here i have 80% uh, lean meat now what i like to do is take my meat out about an hour in advance and I like to do this just to allow the temperature to come up a little bit I noticed that when I'm working with meat that is just like really cold it's harder to mix okay so I took this out in advance so off here to the left we have our diced vegetables this is onion bell pepper garlic and fresh parsley I'll also be using eggs, soy sauce, milk, and bread, as well as my seasonings. So just a quick look at the seasonings here. I have Morton's Season All Seasoned Salt, crushed red pepper flakes, McCormick salt-free garlic and herb seasoning, paprika, and ground black pepper. As always, all of the ingredients and measurements are gonna be written down below in the description box. So go ahead, screenshot the recipe, okay? Okay, don't y'all ask me in the comments where the recipe is. It's in the description box. So go ahead and prep all of your ingredients. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to add the bread to the milk. Now, I did get this question in my other meatloaf uh, video. People didn't understand why are you doing that? Well, the reason you want to do that is because the bread is going to add moisture to your meatloaf. So if you think of the bread as being a sponge, if you add dry bread to your meatloaf, it's going to suck up the moisture whereas if you add wet bread to your meatloaf it's going to add moisture okay so go ahead and soak the bread for about 10 minutes once you've measured out all of your seasonings go ahead and give them a quick mix you're going to sprinkle them all over your ground beef and from here we're just going to throw everything into the bowl okay we're just going to throw it all in there all right now if you decide to saute your vegetables you know you might not want to add them raw now will be a good time to do that go ahead and saute your vegetables to soften them up a little bit you can uh, cook them for about five six seven maybe eight minutes get them soft okay otherwise you can just dice them down really fine just like I did and you might still have a little bite you know in your meatloaf if you're okay with that which I was okay with that then you know you don't need to um saute your vegetables so after you've added everything to the bowl give it a good mix and now we're going to transfer this into our baking dish so i'm using a 9 by 13 inch casserole dish you can use any type of dish that you have available you don't have to grease your pot or your baking pan you don't have to spray it with nonstick cooking spray just you know shape your meat into the shape of a loaf and then you're going to bake this inside of your preheated 375 degree oven for 40 minutes now while that bakes let's go ahead and make our glaze okay the glaze is going to add that extra oomph to this recipe so make the glaze now you want to start out with the barbecue sauce that you love my favorite barbecue sauce is sweet baby rays barbecue sauce and that's what i'm using and i'm going to add to this ketchup mustard and brown sugar and i'll mix all of this together and then i'll just you know let this sit to the side off to the side somewhere until i'm ready for it so now here's my meatloaf fresh out of the oven this is after 40 maybe about 45 minutes of baking okay this is what it looks like um i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna drain all of this fat i don't want that in you know i don't want to see it so now from here i'm gonna take that delicious glaze and i'm gonna top this meatloaf with the glaze so I'm going to increase the temperature on my oven to 475. I put mine back into the oven for about an additional 15 minutes. Check the internal temperature of your meatloaf. Once it reaches 165, your meatloaf is done. Wait about 10 to 15 minutes before you cut into it. You don't want all of those delicious juices to just flow out of your meatloaf. So that's why you wanna let it rest, okay? 
Now I'm going to pair this with some mashed potatoes and I will show you how I made these. I used um, Yukon Gold and Russet Potatoes and I boiled them in salted water, mashed them up after they were done, added butter, some seasonings and then I will also add some heavy whipping cream. So when you make mashed potatoes you always want to just do everything to taste okay. And yeah, mashed potatoes are really, really easy to make. You know, not much thought has to go into making mashed potatoes. This meatloaf pairs really well with mashed potatoes. You might wanna add some vegetables on the side. I really hope that you guys will try this meatloaf recipe. Let me know how yours turned out. As always, thank you so much for supporting this channel and I hope to catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.